So while Disney World today released their annual Christmas offerings and holiday offerings, so let's go over those right now. So during this modified holiday experience, Disney World will have a lots of different changes, but lots of the same things. So let's break it all down in this press release or this the Disney Parks blog post that Disney released today. First of all, the Animal Kingdom will have festive flotillas, um, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. I think that's like kind of cavalcades on the the boats they've been doing those little. They use the River of Light boats on the river and like have kind of character cavalcades there. I think that's what that means, but let me know in the comments below. I'm not too much of a Disney World expert, so if that's uh, especially during the holidays, so let me know what a flotilla is below and if they had one of those before. But, uh, they'll have fe the festive flotillas at Animal Kingdom. Holiday promenades at Epcot, so probably just de 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 decorations along the hallways, or the walkways, I assume that is. Merry motorcades at D Disney's Hollywood Studios. Christmas character cavalcades at Magic Kingdom. They have character cavalcades right now at the Magic Kingdom, so they'll just be decked out in Christmas attire. And they'll even have toy soldiers marching down uh, Main Street in the entire Magic Kingdom park with the Main Street Philharmonic. To provide some holiday cheer and some holiday music uh, without drawing any large cl uh, crowds, of course. Now, this is where things get a little dicey. I guess not a little dicey, but much, much different, in my opinion. And I'm not too sure how people take this. I particularly um, hope this is temporary because in the press release they say that um, that some uh, experiences that draw large crowds are obviously on hiatus this year. But they mentioned that with the you know, candlelight uh, Epcot Candlelight Processional and the Very Merry Christmas Party, which there won't be any of, those, any of those, or any, of course, praise this year. But the projection effects on the castle, the projection effects on the castle, look, as you can see in this, the video, this promotional video, the Disney Parks uh, blog made for us, the castle will be decked out in like red, gold, and green, with the projection mapping, but there won't be that, of course, that iconic crystal, the ice castle that there's every single year, um, with the castle lighting and the uh, the fake snow. There won't be any of that this year, and I wonder if that's due to potential because large crowds like to gather and watch that, even though it's for just a few minutes. Or I wonder if it's a permanent change. I hope it's not a permanent change. I hope the Ice Castle is back next year for Disney World. And I'm sure Disneyland will have the projection thing as well. But I personally, even if, even if, even if they want to do projections, I, I really like the way the castle looks at night at both parks. With the beautiful, beautiful ice crystals hanging down from the castle. Maybe because they just redid both castles at Disneyland and Disney World. Maybe they don't want to... Um, no. Put the fake roofs on it and kind of ruin ruin the original roofs. But at Disneyland, at least in 2019, they redid their castle for Galaxy's Edge, and then they had the the uh, the ice castle later on that year. So I'm not too sure. I just hope it definitely comes back. Um, let me know what in the comments below. What do you guys think? Do you like the projection? Do you think that will stay permanently? And if so, do you do you like that, or do you like the more traditional ice castle that's been around every almost every single year? At least in modern times, since like the early mid 2000s, uh, I like the ice castle. I hope the projection again is only temporary. Moving on to the hotels, there'll be no gingerbread models at the hotels this year, at on both coasts, um, and Disney Springs and the the hotels will still be decked out. Maybe not as much as usual, but they'll still have some decorations at every single corner. And I wonder how many decorations, how much decorations or how many decorations the parks and the hotels will have I assume budget cuts will lead to a decrease in decorations from what a normal year looks like and maybe that's why I'm trying to think of some why some some of these things aren't happening like no gingerbread models but I assume maybe Disney just doesn't have the budget to hire someone to build them um, because those don't really draw large crowds 
and I know something, obviously, like the Very Merry Christmas Party and the Ken Life Processional, they got a large crowd, so, and the parade, so they have to be canceled. But something like the Ice Castle, they just don't have the budget this year for the Ice Castle, so projections, which are much cheaper and more cost-effective, have to be changed easily. Maybe that's, maybe that's why they're doing that. Uh, but again, I just hope they don't uh, go past this year, even if they do projections in the following years. I really like to see those ice crystals back. But let me know in the comments below what do you think of this modified holiday schedule or holiday offerings for Walt Disney World. Um, that's, that's still a pretty decent amount of stuff they're going here. Even if they, with a reduced budget and some mo modifications, uh, that's a pretty good amount of stuff. But it was definitely enough to make you feel in the Christmas and holiday spirit. Um, so that's great. And of course, they have. All the holiday food, they even have that in Disney Parks blog post, they talk about, give a sneak peek of some of the holiday food. So, that'll really, really put you in the holiday spirit, all the, especially at Epcot, with the um, holiday food. I'm sure they have the, um, do they have a food festival at Epcot for the, uh, for the uh, holidays? I'm not, I think so. But, they does have some great food, but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Of course, this is for Disney World, Disneyland isn't even open yet, but Disneyland will hopefully be open by then, and we'll have some of these offerings as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Subscribe for more theme park updates. I'll be at Universal City Walk here in Hollywood tomorrow for an update on that in Super Nintendo World. So subscribe for that. As always, have a fantastic day.